first day of summer, at least for me, at Canada's Wonderland. We just got in and waited in an absolute monsoon of cars just to get into the parking lot. The lines right now look absolutely ridiculous just to get in through the gates at the front of the park. So today, I think we're gonna go grab a couple rides all we can now, and then actually head over to the water park because it is now open for daily operations. So let's go head in, see how long it takes us, and check out the water park. That was easily the longest we've ever spent getting in. We went in the fastest of all the 10 or 20 lanes, whatever was open, they were all open, and it took us almost 25 minutes, not including the time it took to find the fastest one, so absolutely nuts today. We're headed over to the behemoth side of the park to see if we can uh, get some short rides over there. On a crazy day like this, 95% of people are gonna go to the Leviathan side of the park and Medieval Fair. So we're actually headed over to the Action Zone and Behemoth side of the park, because hopefully Behemoth should have a much less line. As you can see, there's not really anyone coming this way like we are, and we're gonna head over to a Backlot and Mindbuster as well, where we're here and see if we can get a couple quick rides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see your videos! I see them! What's your favorite roller coaster? Uh, probably He's the only Leviathan. Yeah. Leviathan. Vortex? Leviathan. I'm gonna. I want to go on it. Yeah. 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 My theories do look like they are correct because Behemoth just has a little bit more than a stairway right now. It's not into the queues or anything, so hopefully this will be a quick wait. My theory did prove to be correct, and we only ended up waiting 15 minutes for Behemoth. Got a great ride. So just that's a good rule of thumb. If you come on a crazy busy day, come to Behemoth over Leviathan first. The Canada's Wonderland Splashworks Water Park opens at 11 a.m. daily, so it is just 11.06 right now. We're gonna head inside and see everything new and everything there is to do here in 2022. This water park is dead right now. There's probably three or four other people in the whole park right now, and no one really knows. It's kind of this little hidden gem so far. I guess people don't assume that it's open weekdays yet, but it is dead, and I'm super excited to check out all the water slides today. There is so much to do with this water park. It has 17 water slides, including everything like classics we know and love from Riptide Racer and the Plunge to the brand new Muskoka Plunge and Typhoon. It's now around 12.30 and the lines have probably doubled since we got here, but they're still super reasonable. So I think the number one advice is definitely come for 11 a.m. right when the water park opens. Since they are longer, we decided to take a break and grab some lunch, so I got some chicken fingers and fries from Pizza Pizza, but there are a few different food places you can get from in the water park. Riverside Snacks is also on the meal plan, but for some reason they were closed today. They just serve normal chicken fingers, fries, burgers, etc. Pizza Pizza, which I ate from, is on the meal plan, so that's why, hence there's a bit of a line there, and there is also a subway if you would like in the water park. It's now closer to 1.30 and the lines have actually tripled in the last hour and a half. It's getting kind of insane. I really thought all day today was going to be dead, but I guess it really is true that you just got to get here at 11 a.m. when they open and get as many rides as you can in before everyone starts coming closer to 1 o'clock. So just make sure you get those rides in early and don't come after 1 o'clock if you plan to get a ton. If you don't feel comfortable leaving your bags under a blanket on a chair, there is lockers available for rent. I don't know the exact price, but I'm pretty sure they're probably quite expensive. And if you happen to find yourself in the park one day and you're really sweltering hot and you just want to go for a nice dip in the water park, there is a swim shop at the front where you can go and buy a bathing suit or a towel or whatever you want if you forget to bring it. We left the water park just after two o'clock. We came out back into the midway and oh my gosh. The first thing we see is Yukon Striker fully filled through all three tents. Probably over a two hour wait right now. We walked through the midways and honestly, we weren't even walking. We were just like moshing through a mosh pit. It was too busy, this park is insane, and we just had to leave. We had two more meal plans, but every single line for food was over 30 minutes long. So the least we could wait even for the grab and go market was 20 to 30 minutes. It's just insane, not okay. Update, my mom says the grab and go line was much longer, but basically if you're gonna come to Wonderland this year, it's uh, it's kinda gonna be a crazy bet. It's not even the summer for most schools yet, and it's this busy, it's a Thursday on one of the last weeks of school, so I can't even imagine what this weekend's gonna look like, not even to mention the summer in a few weeks. Oh boy. 
The water park was super fun though, so go check that out if you guys do have a chance. Just make sure you hit it up at 11 a.m. right when it opens, and I wish you all luck. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.